What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. I'm your host. I'll always be your host. And as long as you live under my Twitch, you follow my rules. Duke Sliver is a popular reference there. That's a solid, that's a solid meme. I am also bummed Cube is over. I am always bummed Cube is over. Do, 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 do. do we just take this and try to be ninjas again? I really want to be ninjas. Uh, I'm just not feeling slivers, I'll be honest with you. We also didn't open a slower rare, so it's not like it's, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm just taking this Moonblade Shinobi. And now, Carrion Feeder is a one drop that we can attack with. String of Disappearances is nice. Wind Collar even's fine. It does give evasion so that you could, uh, so you can get in there for your ninjas. Defile also good. If we're being ninjas, we're probably going to be black. I think we're just taking Defile here. Phantom Ninja? Well, that guy's good in terms of ninjas. Yeah, that's fine. That's probably the best card here for us. How are we liking Orcish Hellraiser? I think, uh, I think it's fine. It does a lot of things. Draw a card, splice onto instant or sorcery. I'm not a huge fan of Azra Smoke Shaper as far as ninjas go, but I think it's fine. I think it's a card we might need. Uh, I think there are definitely good options in uh, the reign of the the draw the draw spell and the changeling. But scuba doo -doo 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 -doo. smoke shroud. All right, smoke shroud's cool. Scavenger's good too. Smoke Shroud's nice. We have lots of ninjas. Should definitely get a de decent, uh, a decent number of things to put it on. Every format with ninjas needs ornithopters. I mean. I can't really disagree with you. Ornithopter is a great enabler. Dude, I really need... I can't wait to get uh, this monitor stand for this monitor. It's unbelievable. Like, the monitor is literally, like... It's, su it's super close. I feel, like I'm in the, I feel like I'm in the front row of an IMAX theater. Like, this is me looking at the, the right edge of the monitor. And this is me looking at the left edge of the monitor. Like, you can see the, the, the width of this thing. It's like... Alright, now I'm looking at the right side. And the left side. And it's just like, it's too big. It needs to go back further. I need, I need my, I need, I need more life. Do you have a preferred modern deck yet? Not yet. I'm very curious as to, to what shakes up in modern. <laughs> you need a cool hacking montage. Yeah, I'm working on that. I'm working on my hacking montage. I'm just going to take Phantom Ninja here. I think we can get more Reign of Revelations, but I think these guys are pretty relevant to the ninja strategy, especially if you can get Smoke Shroud on them. Woo. Oh, I already ordered a monitor stand. I'm just waiting for it. But uh, the monitor is 26 pounds, so most typical uh, Visa mounts arms are not gonna are not going to work. So I had to get like the heavy duty, like expensive one because because most monitor stands are weighted from like 17 to 25 pounds. And I don't want to put a super expensive 26 pound monitor on uh, on, an, on, an, on a cheaper arm, you know? So 
we did that. Uh, Putrid Goblin's actually pretty decent because if you attack with the 1-1 one -one version, you can just bounce it to your hand. String of Disappearances is fine. I'll just take the Goblin. Yeah, the problem is that, yeah, because it's an ultra-wide, like, you're a lot more limited on options. Because even if it, it is, even if it's rated for your weight, you still want to make sure that uh, the weight is distributed correctly and, like, it can support the uh, the center of gravity. Yeah, I was I was not really considering buying the Apple Pro stand. I don't even know the deal with the Apple Pro stand to be quite honest with you. I don't love Eye Kite, but I do like that it's a, a flying creature that comes down on turn two to. Uh... Oh, it's a thousand dollar add-on for the five thousand dollar monitor. Gotcha. Well, I'm just going to take all the Phantom Ninjas they offer us, I guess. It's a stand for pros. That's... Hmm. Checks out. Uh, all three of these are actually decent options here. I do like the bird. I don't think we're chiller pillaring. Sure. So many elks. I think there was another elk in that pack, maybe? I do like that it seem, it appears they fixed the issue. I have been getting most of my last picks, so that's nice. It's a nice change of pace. Guys, we're going to live that stream of thought dream. You ready? Another Defile, huh? Another Pondering Mage? Well, not another first Pondering Mage, but... Is it Defile or Pondering Mage? I mean, Pondering Mage always feels great. I'm fine with it. Oh, another stream of thought? Dang, we're going to do it. We're totally doing it. I seriously never open the good the good uncommons. I never open the good uncommons, you understand. Don't care about you. Don't care about another one of you. It might just be carrion feeder. I'm not sure I love one drops in this deck, but... I think it's still just fine. Oh man, Ranger. Man of War. Man of War. Not close. Oh, Blizzard Strix? Oh man, now we need to find some snow some snowlands for sure. This card's just fantastic. This makes combat utterly miserable. It's a five mana three two flyer with flash. Uh when it enters the battlefield you can blink a thing.
versus C930E. I'm going to do some research on these webcams. Snow Covered Swamp, pretty decent when we have Blizzard Strix. Let's take it. Yeah, but the problem is if you have a carrion feeder that's hard to profitably block, like, you're probably not going to want to bounce it, you know what I mean? Kaya's Guile. I'm going to take this exclude and I'm not even going to think twice about it. I wouldn't mind a Fairy Seer or an Eye Kite here, but I'm just going to take the exclude because that card is a broken. Just kidding. It's not broken. It's just very strong. Another Pondering Mage? Is that too many? I don't think so. Maybe. I mean, Prohibit's fine as well. I'm always less impressed with Prohibit, though. Like, I never want to be like, oh, well, uh... I never want to keep up the... Yeah, we only have two Ninjutsu Ninjutsu that, so far. I mean, what do you, what do you want? What are you going to do, you know? None of these are exciting. Yeah, I'm familiar with the Brio, but I don't think it actually increases the field of view, which is what I'm looking for. I think it's just a, it's just our 4K version. Maybe it does. We'll see. I'm not, I'll look into it. Uh, I guess it's just snow covered swamp. Uh, as far as field of view, I'm just looking for... So the monitor I have now is 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 flatter. Um, so it's like it's harder to... When Mike was sitting here, it wouldn't catch us both because the other monitors were, were curved. They were more like... I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to show on the, on the... It's... They made more of a V shape so that the the the, mo the the right monitor was facing both of us. The the webcam was facing the the monitor was facing both of us, and the webcam on that monitor was facing both of us. Whereas now the the the, the monitor itself is just flat, so it doesn't it just kind of goes straight back. So if Mike is over here, and the webcam is over here, it doesn't do a great job of catching both of us. If that makes sense.
Yeah, the black is pretty minimal, actually. I was thinking that, too. I mean, I think our blue is good, though. But we'll see. You didn't change the camera, though? No. Uh, what happens if you want the camera on the right side of your monitor? It, it, nothing, because... So the thing is, like, there is no... There's no real way to do it, right? Because the monitor is flat now. Whereas before, they were curved. Like, previously, I had two monitors, and they were in a V-shape, right? So they were, like, they were, they were on the sides of me. So I could see, like, I could look at, like, to the left and the right, you know? Um, but right now, it's just a flat, straight panel. So there's less curvature. I mean, the monitor itself is curved, but it's a minimal curve. So, like, it's, the webcam's, like, over here now. And if I move it all the way over here, now it's literally on the right side of the, the, of the computer. And, like, you can still just, I mean, it, just, it barely changes it for the, for the amount of distance that it covered. And now I still feel like I'm way farther over than I should be. So I'm going to leave this here. And then I'm also going to... Bring myself over a little bit. All right, that's better. Yes, mine is fixed. Mine is a Logitech C920, so it's just on its little... It's on its little base. I think we're taking the Moonblade Shinobi over the Factor Fiction. Maybe. Yeah, I'm like I'm actually not impressed with Factor Fiction because you end up playing it and you're like, well, I'm I really need more things to do. I, de I think it'll definitely help when I move the monitor further back, which I, I plan on doing as soon as I get this stupid arm, but I think we're still just going to take... Actually, we'll probably want to return. I like return here because we do have some ninjas. Three ninjus. Six ninjas. Maybe it's good. Uh, We actually did a sort of hot one stipulation on the... 15 hour stream that we did we had five different wings and they were coated in different hot sauces oh smiting helix i mean smiting helix is all right we just never we're never going to be able to cast the other two sides the other the other one side the other half i guess so we'll just play changeling outcast second defile and that's our deck i think our deck is done good game we're done Fairy over snow covered swamp. That's a late season pyromancer. Hmm. Also, a pyrophobia. Man, this pack is stacked. It's got the choking tethers. I think we do want the swamp here just because we do have uh, blizzard strix. Yeah, another ninja. Probably the other ninja, especially with the one drops. Like, again, we don't have any of the uncommon ninjas or the rare ninjas, but I think these are good ones. I feel like four ninja phantoms too many, but I'm not going to play headless specter. So, uh, this is a phantom. I would otherwise I would have taken the, I would otherwise I would have taken the pyromancer for sure. Uh, 23 cards. I don't think we need the card draw here, but I'd probably play it over scour all possibilities, or we could take four snow cover swamp to make sure our blizzard strix is a little more. Uh, yeah, I think we just want the snow cover swamp here. Because we also have Chiller Pillar, which we can definitely play. Another Snow Covered Swamp. I will take all the Snow Covered Swamps you wish to give me.
Chiller Pillar was my nickname in high school. Was that because you were uh, an ecstasy distributor? It's a weird confession to make on stream. Cosme. I'm not a drug dealer. I'm an ecstasy distributor. There's a difference. I feel like Axe is actually not terrible in the, uh, well, in these decks. Where you're like, well, I got all these unblockable guys. You guys can thank Tom Ross for Amorphous Axe. This is uh, one of Tom Ross's creations. Uh, yes, it's really weird. I actually had this conversation earlier about how uh, it's really weird that one of the ley lines is new and four of them are three of them are so far are reprints. Ley line of the void, ley line of sanctity, and ley line of anticipation are all reprints. Whereas the red ley line, which I don't know what it, what it is, is new. And I'm like, this is very weird how like so many of them are reprints, but some so many of them are not. Or one of them is so many of them are reprints and one of them is not, you know. All right, so this is 23 cards. Carry and Fear, Outlast, Divine, Defile. Eye Kite, Scour's Fine, Shroud, Putrid Goblin. Three Ninjas, Mana War, Exclude, Chiller, Two Shinobis, Two Smoky Boys, Two Ponder. Yeah, this actually looks good. I think this deck looks good. So this is, what, 8-9? Probably going 9-8. But we do have two Defile. But yeah, we're, we're very heavy blue, so. Looked it up. Yeah, I know people have a standard camera base. You can use a Gorilla Pod. Yeah, but that just seems like a... That seems like a whole lot of... A lot of drama. Yeah, it's weird that it doesn't pivot. That is strange. Yeah, it's got just a weird, like, oh, you guys could probably see everything there. I totally forgot that. I, I forgot that, like, you, that would move the thing. I'm like, you guys probably just looked all over. I don't even know what you guys saw. Ah, uh, we're gonna mulligan this hand. I'll keep it because we're on the draw, and if we can hit a black land, we can go this guy into. Either one of these guys. Well, that's what we wanted. Oh man, the ceiling? That's exciting. You guys are you guys are really living your best lives here. So we could play this guy, but then we get to bounce him next turn. That seems. But it does it does leave us with a three three here. I think that's probably better than not. What's the question? Where did MTG Pyro? Where was MTG Pyro's question? I actually don't even see that. Am I going? Am I am I blind? I figured that was the question. I just I couldn't find it though. I was looking for it. I was like, where did he where did he ask that? Oh my god, that was like oh my god, that was like what twelve minutes ago? That's hilarious. Um I have no plans as of yet. This guy's just better, right? It's just a three three. Like it's gotta be. It's gotta be better to have the three three on board than the one one on board, especially because you're dealing six damage Thank instead you. of two damage. A little more. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Sorry, I just got to the front. No, no, no. Don't even, don't even apologize, buddy. Oh, you're apologizing because of the, because the delay. Like, oh, 12 minutes ago, someone asked you this. I'm also curious. Oh, I'm exhausted.
Ninjas all day. If this means you not drawing a card, I'm game. Oh yeah, I found it. I scrolled back. I found it. It was at like 519. Sacrifice is a creature. Seems good. Well, they have the uncommon and the rare and the other uncommon that they've played so far, and we have played three commons, so. Oh, they said all raised. That's that's cute. They're using poker terminology. Oh, if I started a go go to Vegas goal, like a donation goal, like Taunus would fill it up in a day. Because he's literally basically offered to do that already. Yep. Fascinating. Wow, we don't even have a snow permanent, actually. So this is just a... I think we still keep it because it's a 3-2 flyer, but... I've already booked five rooms in Vegas for... Jesus, Thanos. You're unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. Yep, this is just really obnoxious. <laughs> probably fill up the meter oh god yeah like we just can't like this we're just way too far behind what's a good place to buy high quality mtg apparel i don't actually know uh is mtg pro shop a thing what's the steve port place where does steve port sell his steve port uh makes the best Check out mtgproshop.com. Yeah, this is Legion. Yeah, this is Steve Port stuff. It's actually, it's fantastic. His stuff is great. My battery level is critical. Even if we play this guy, like we just block here, we take five. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. I mean, I don't think we just, I just think we don't know how to build the blue black. I, I think we try to build the blue black deck, but like every person we face has like the better version of the blue black deck, and it's just really infuriating.
I guess we're going to bottom this guy. Probably bottom this too. here All right, if we can get an island here, that'd be great, because then we can play Pondering Mage. Yeah, seven days in Vegas seems like a very long time. That moment where the three-color deck has better mana than the two-color deck. Magic, you are a hell of a game. Oh god, Vegas in mid-July? Why would you do that to yourself? I cannot believe you have done this. Well, I guess we'll do that. Could have also smoke shrouded this guy as well. Which we probably should have. Yeah, and then nowadays you'd be like, people, your friends would be like, buddy, it's a desert in July. What are we doing? Let's block or don't block. Block it is. No block it is. Sounds good. All right. Not all deserts are hot. Are there deserts that don't? Can you burn a modern ninjas deck for and would I play it? Yes. 1000% yes I would. That sounds like gas. Also Josh, I always love your decks, so that seems like it would work out quite quite well, my friend. Uh actually, a desert is defined by precipitation or lack thereof, you see. Yes. So Technically speaking, uh, it may not be hot in the desert. Okay. Hey, I'm glad I didn't put Smoke Shroud on here. Is a burrito a desert? <laughs> Is a desert a sandwich? I'm something of a scientist myself. All right, so if we can get a blue source here, I'm on board. I am on board with blue. We knit it. We, we did it. I said we knit it. We knit it. Boom, 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 boom. Thomas with the gifted sub. You are the hero that everyone... Oh, what? Oh, that is from my uh, from my refund request. One of, one of three that I have submitted. So uh, now I got to figure out how to get my game back. Go down here, open this bad boy up. I don't think we want, I don't think we care about any of these really. I don't think I want the land. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boop, 
This guy's just not that impressive. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we could shuffle. That's better than all three of those. I could live in a desert. Yikes. Um, you know what? Sure. I'll bite. human and then you shoot yeah sure that's fine oh you're naming wizard that seems worse when you've seen a ton of ninjas in my deck but what do I know what do I know At the holdest? Three, four, five, six. Could just play Pondering Mage and look for a land and then play Smoke Shroud on the Pondering Mage. I like it. Um, Shinobi, Strix, Island, no, play, Smoky Shroud, done. God, Dave Mustaine with throat cancer? Jeez. I'm getting real tired of musicians dying. I guess he's not dead. That's fair. He's not dead. He's not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Don't let me down. Oh, they're getting aggressive here. So I'm pretty sure we're going Man of War Chiller Pillar. Jellyfish, Insect, Bird. We're going to bounce this guy to deal an extra point here. And this guy is the most expensive. Getting tired of these mana wars, my dude. I have consistent internet again, or or should I say internet cons consistency? I would say internet consistency, perhaps.
How are things down the old US of A? You know, they're all right. They're all right for me, for me personally. I know for a lot of people, they're not great. And uh... oh my God. Boy, they just have it all, don't they? My God, what a time to be alive. Consistency. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything about the consistency. card's actually destroying us right now and it's kind of funny I mean even if we block here they just attack I mean we're, we're taking four next turn one way or another and if they have any way to remove this guy yeah we're just going to concede uh, our, their deck is just better than ours I mean it's just how it goes <laughs> like it's I feel like this has been pretty par for the course like people just have these broken decks in this form and it's very strange Have you tried to have a broken deck as well? I ha I've tried. It does not work as well as I'd like. I mean, this is a good start. I'll have to cut a short and head to my stand-up. Stand-up? What does that mean? Is that a business term that I just don't know about? Uh, no blocks. You've got seven minutes to state stuff. State your case in seven minutes. Can we play Utron in the nearest future, like before 2020? Probably. We can probably do that before 2020.
When am I visiting northern Canada? Um, I don't have any immediate plans to do so. It is like a team thing. Okay, so it's a work thing. Gotcha. That's what I was wondering. Oh, you got a little, uh, you got a little work thing there. Okay, you got a little uh, work thing. Okay. All right, so we're gonna attack with both, and then we're gonna bounce our illusion. We're gonna use use your illusion after the. Uh, the Sweet Nirvana album. Big in combat. Let's attack with these dudes. They didn't block at all? That was unexpected. I expected a block. Well, this is awkward. Let's play Carrion Feeder and Eye Kite. Yep, that guy's big. Ooh, fascinating. One, two. Return this guy. Make this guy indestructible. That was the first time I've used that productively. That was fantastic. He's got 10 damage on him. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's just fantastic. I guess we'll just play I Kite. I Kitey boy. Let's scour all the possibilities, because that lets us attack with... Uh, I don't want either of these. Actually, I do want this guy. Because of Carrion Feeder. <laughs> Let them sort it out. I asked them to kindly not use mine. <laughs> That's weird that, like, I, it doesn't take me a donation tier to, to recognize people by name. I just need to know them for a long enough time. All right, so you take one, two, three, four, five, six.
Yeah, I'll just let this go through. Because I feel like you're going to do some shenanigans. Blinking this guy. Okay. That's seven. Wing shards. Thomas, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy your shows. And your stand-up. Enjoy your stand-up, too. Yep, this is pretty, pretty brutal. I don't know if I want to trade here or just keep a different guy on board. Probably want to trade, I guess. We can also put them to four, which is pretty good. Especially because we have Pondering Mage to put them to, th to one. I, I don't know if this is great. It feels pretty bad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Take it. Yeah, cool. Uh, fucking joke. <laughs> what an absolute joke. Oh, wing shards for four. I have a wrath effect in limited. Cool, dude. Yeah, one side of rats, not bad.
Well, I'm not actually sure they'll trade here. Seems fine. I just feel like we have the absolute worst luck with the blue-black deck for some reason. <laughs> we go return, we go get Mana War, and then they just go like, Wing Shards, you're bored again. Oh, why don't we just play Pondering Mage? That's so bad. I'm totally tilted right now, guys. They still got Wing Shards, mana. exclude yeah I think these are fine to keep um you then you then you four five six so seven next turn which means we can play one of these guys and exclude which is fine <laughs> sure you got it Got a Phantom Ninja here because next turn we can Phantom Ninja into Moonblade Shinobi. Does it feel like they're playing around? Okay, well, now we have. Oh, why didn't we counter that? God, I'm so tilted, guys. I'm really out of it. I'm so sorry. Oh, that was so bad. I mean, I think we know the next card's an island as well. Wow, we totally should have countered that. That's unbelievable.
it's actually not bad. We have three blockers now, so but all their creatures are lethal, so it's like Well, I guess we kinda have to put a guy into play here. So bad. Nobody is allowed to have emotions while playing magic. Wow. That's a throwback. Oh god, I don't know why I'm so tilted, like Yep, and they had a removal spell. Very satisfying 0 2 with this deck so far. Wow, I cannot win a game with these fucking blue black decks, man. It is unbelievable. And I mean, I'm making my own mistakes for sure, but still. Like, every blue black deck I've played, I've gone 0 4. <laughs> 0 4, 0 6. And uh, I guess I'm just trying to maybe win a last round. Ugh, God. Steering clear of this archetype in the future. Oh, man. Do you have Shinobi? What does that mean? <laughs> like the old Genesis game? <laughs> the rare? No. No, I do not have. Like all the all most of the ninjas are called Shinobi in some way, shape, or form. So, I mean, saying do you have Shinobi doesn't really clarify that. Eh, I guess we don't need to do that yet. No, I believe if we have the rare and we're able to draw it with any, any sort of consistency, we would probably be doing significantly better here. Yep. See, there's a Shinobi. Oh, Jesus. Are we just trading with Mana War here? Wow, that Family Guy reference. Yeah, okay. Sure, you cycle that, Tusker. Yeah, we're just going to play this guy because next time we can win call our Aven it. So we can't also play Pondering Mage, though. 
Yep, I knew that guy was coming down eventually, which is why I was hoping to save the defile, but what can you do? Well, they have two cards. Oof. Any order. Shuffle that shit out of here. Draw an island anyway. We could double block. Got 6-6 six, six in power here. Now they get to discard land and uh, we get to lose for two Marasa Behemoth. Alright, so blue-black. Never, never gonna be an archetype that we draw draft again. And that made it worse. I don't know why you even waste your time because I only have 7 power on board and I'm tapped out. But I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Yep, Ryan is a dude. Oh yes, lands all day. Gotta love, love it. Float on and float on up, my dude. Man of War. Smoke shroud. You know what? Might as well, right? No time like the present. That's what I always say. He never says that. Uh, joke's on you. It's actually uh, 32 islands and four swamps. So, yep, this is a uh, this is a reasonable this is a reasonable card in this format. Yeah. <laughs> Crying out loud! One, two, three, four, five. I mean, if we hit a defile, we have decent blocks, I guess, but any order, shuffle it. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know there was like a swamp in common. <laughs> Solid reference. Solid throwback there. That's good. I like it. I like it. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's pretty hilarious. Oh, got him. Yep. All right. Ugh. I will play first. Why? I don't know. I'll keep this hand. Oh, boy. Oh man, look at this curve. You can't even buy a curve like this. Can we go 1 2? That would be sick. And I mean, in this match, I know we're going to lose the match, but I mean, 1 2 total. This is actually, we'll just play this guy instead. This is a better attacker. Yep. And there are these fine blokes.
Man, I wish I kept the mana war. Man, we're just pecking away. Which is actually not working terribly. Next turn we can give this guy float and we can go three, four, five, six, puts them to five. That's kind of what we were hoping for, to be quite honest. I think that's the best draw we could have gotten. Now, do we bounce the Mana War, though? That seems like it's probably better, right? Yeah, it's one point less, but... Uh, it's better to have Mana War in hand. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're just defiling this right now. Sure. You got it. Target your own guy with it, huh? Two, three, four. If you block here, you're not dead. I guess you survive. You have to. You literally have to block here. There you go. Oh, I guess they just conceded. Fascinating. <coughs> We're on the draw. I jump block for no man. If you want to break from drafting and not break from ninjas, give this a shot. Okay, hold on. I'll uh, mulligan this. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. But I would have bottomed this guy. We already have one ninja. All right, we're 1-1. One, one. We can do this. We can win a match. I believe in ourselves. Wow. Wow. Uh... Fascinating. I hope this is this card is as mediocre as it was for me. Well, all right. Sure. Defile. Snow covered swamp. It's basically the same thing.
Yeah. All right. So. All right, let's get chili, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Do we just six? Then we take five, they take six. Maybe. That's correct. Feels decent, right? We take five. I don't know. This could backfire terribly, but <clears throat> feels like a time to be aggressive. So we got a five. We probably just die here. I'm sure they're just gonna kill us. Oh wow, that's too many things to deal with. Block here, block here, block here. All right, well, let's pass. I'm sure we're dead. I'm sure we're getting the old O3 again, but uh, you know we're in we're in the we're in the mindset to have expected it, so that's okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, if we draw <laughs> Avon, could be very good for us. This is aggressive. I mean, Avon is not as good for us now, but. Phantom Ninja. They have three attackers. We have to block two of them. They will kill both of our guys. You lovely Thrag Tusk of a man. Is that true? Oh, and they get another... No, I think they're out of beasts. Uh, they're out of elephants now. But they're probably just going to kill us some other way. Yep, that'll do. Yep, never fails. God, I want to live in a world where they don't have it. Where I just get to casually. Yep, fantastic. All right, 03 again with another blue black pile of shit. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out, manatraders.com. Uh, you can find the link and the promo code in the description below. You can also check out uh, meundies.com slash franklaporeo. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And coolstuffinc.com uh, where you can use promo code frank5 to get 5% off. Definitely check out those links. They're all in the description below. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. All right.